Michelle, we're over here today talking about inks, and you've got some luscious, luscious ink in front of you. Yes, the colors are very vibrant. It gets the clients really excited about the process, just looking at these bright colors. It's an acrylic base, so it's non-toxic. It's a wonderful um, media to use with children over about eight, and teens love these, these colors, and adults. So one of these activities is, is um, wonderful for folks who might not think of themselves as artists and really want something that is a quick win. And with a lot of these youth, you want a quick win. So I'm gonna take the string and just cut a medium, medium length. And I'm gonna choose a color. I'm gonna go with this vibrant blue right now and put some in a um, lid like this. And I'm gonna shake it and just give it a few drops. And you do have to shake the acrylic ink. It does tend to settle. And always make sure the lid's on before you shake. <laughs> I like doing this activity with clients who are a bit hesitant about the art therapy process. They may be not, they may be a little nervous about creating something on a blank piece of paper. And this is very satisfying right off the bat. And it can be a good assessment tool actually as well. So I'm going to dip the piece of string into the paint. I'm gonna give it some taps. I don't mind getting my fingers dirty. Some of our clients really don't, and that's okay. You can either give them a glove or you can just have them swish it around inside. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you a lovely stack of colored paper here. Um, different absorption levels of the paper have different outcomes. And I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna pick a yellow. I love that color and it helps show up quite bright. And we're just gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to take my string and put a design right down on one side of the paper. I'm gonna loop it. And I'm gonna leave the string coming at the bottom edge here and I'm gonna press the paper gently and pull the string out. Oh, it makes a good between noise Between the paper. Yeah, the noise, this, that's a, another nice part of this activity is the sensory piece. And then I open up my piece Ooh. and I have something quite fun. They and look so like calla lilies almost. They do kind of, and both sides are a little bit different. Um, Almost always the outcome is something appealing to the, to the child or youth and they, then you can invite them to make, add to their drawing. They can um, see what they see in it and then develop it into something. You could offer them other colors or other markers, some pastels for example, make a nice addition. And then I might just develop one side of it or I might, um, Simply color to highlight which part I find interesting. It's really neat to see a reflection because I mean we're always aiming to reflect on our own situation and our own feelings and yet to see this representation of reflection I find really quite uh, engaging. So please give it a try, let us know how it goes. And what would you do next? Well of course it depends on on the client and what I felt they needed to do next. I might invite them to uh, cut their paper in half and take this first side and move it around. Perhaps I will have them take a look at their goals and say, so um, could you tell us a story about, could you tell me a story about this? So I might go ahead and, and cut it like this and say, um, you know, if this is, if this is the now, if this is what's going on now, let's, let's take a look at what might be going on um, in the next few days. What, what would you like to happen for yourself? And we can look at um, their goals in that way. I might invite them to use more ink to do that, to continue to, to, to tell the story or to take another piece of string and add to it. So they could take another piece of string and dance around the same piece of paper. Um, they may want to cut the actual shape out and mount it onto another piece of paper and build essentially a collage of their own making. So they may want to cut this out. And of course all of this is, is
fuel for the relationship between you and the client. And it, it gives them a sense of power and creativity making these in the session with you. I also like that it's a very fluid media, however it doesn't feel out of control. With, by using the string and the absorbent paper, it seems to sort of come into more of a controlled manner. And I don't really like this little blob here, so I'm just gonna cut it off, and since I'm the artist, I get to do that. Mm. And so now I might pick, I might pick a blue background, and I might put this on here like this, and I might ask, my therapist for some different colors. Some um, yeah, orange would be great. <laughs> so I might continue on with the story or continue on with the design. And I might work quietly or I may want to be talking while I'm doing this about what's been going on in my week. So there's really a lot of different directions you can go with this activity. And starting with the string and the ink is just a really nice beginning. And you can think of it as a bit of a journey and see where it takes you. And so. as you said, I really like that even if you didn't go any further, the minute you put that string and pulled it through the page, there was already a shape and a yeah. platform for discussion. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.